Like my phone. No, because if it's on silent, I'll forget it's on silent. And then uh, I'll, like, I'll miss all my calls because I don't check the phone. I check it. It doesn't vibrate? No, I turn it like off, off. I just leave it, I don't, I just I don't leave it like on vibrate the, all the time. Vibrating scares me. A bucket? Budweiser? When it's vibrating, it's scary. No, we're doing it right now. Yeah, we're. Actually, the, the first thing we're doing on podcast is ordering a bucket ordering of beer. Ordering a bucket from of beer from, Jay's. from Jay's. Yes. If you want a bucket of beer, come on down, come to, on Jay's. down to Jay's. Right now. Heavy. Heavy. Or as Chelsea says, hard. But hard. But hard. <laughs> Chelsea. You're Chelsea, funny guy. Chelsea's here. Josh Chelsea is here. Is here. I'm here. I'm here. Stretch and we here. are Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk. In review. In review. Chelsea's right. the worst. En- energy's really yeah. high over here. You know, the, the aftermath of Hurricane Chelsea is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's hitting us all hard, but I think. Mm-hmm. I think the hurricane itself is the one that has dissipated the most. Dissipated. As you may notice. Why, thank you, sir. Thank you, Joey. Oh, my God. It's Monday. It is Monday. It's how Mondays happen. Also, apparently, just learned this just now. We're on Florida time. I I mean, I knew they were talking about it, but I guess I don't watch the news anymore. Well, then it can't be, we can't be on Eastern time anymore because Eastern time involves daylight savings. So when daylight savings is in, then if if you have daylight savings, it's 1 o'clock a.m., Eastern time, but it's still 2 o'clock a.m. Florida. Time. So that means whenever you leave the state of Florida, if you go to Georgia or Alabama, you're gonna have to set your clock. It's gonna be a around. different time. Well, during the certain during half the year. So yeah. how's that gonna affect people that do like trains and airports and shit? Same shit it affects them across the country. I mean, it's time zones now are just Florida time. So a two-hour flight from New York to Florida is still gonna be a two-hour flight. It's just that you're gonna leave at three, and then arrive at like. Two? So it would be like a one hour flight? Yeah. No. So this is gonna fuck up some shit. recreational marijuana, but you can change the time zone. Good job, Florida. I mean, they didn't change the time zone. They just made it so we're not a part of it. I kind of like daylight savings time. I like I it do too. half the year. But honestly, you, as you were saying earlier, working those shifts sucks. Mm-hmm. You're like, all right, I'm about to get off. Fuck, I got a whole other hour. hour at work. Well, but you if you're out drinking, it's nice. Yeah, because when it goes from 1 to 2 a.m., when you're not allowed to drink anymore, it goes back to 1 a.m. Yeah, so you, you have a whole, whole extra hour, hour of drinking. It's a, it's a drunken holiday. It is. It really is. That's back but, in November, though. I remember, yeah, it's celebrated that, that last one at Social like, it went up. It went up like two days ago, three days ago, something yeah, so like that. Yeah, so it sprang forward. Yeah, so it yeah. went from 2 to 3 a.m. So I was, I was at Castaways. I was having a couple beers, and I looked at the clock. It's 1.58. I turn around because Rick said something to me. Fucking Rick. <laughs> yes, Rick. And he uh, fucking. I turned back around and I looked at my clock and it was 3.02. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Did I just have a stroke? Like, what happened here? <laughs> <laughs> you were abducted by aliens. I guess. I That's don't one know. of the things they say that when you get abducted, you notice like time lapses. Have you guys. You guys ever been abducted by aliens before? If you consider staying up all night doing cocaine and drinking alcohol, being abducted by aliens. No, that's not being abducted by aliens, that's being invaded by monsters. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that does happen. <laughs> Fucking monsters. We all know the monsters. We had monsters. oxtail last night, that was we, pretty good. We did, the oxtail was good. What I was thought... what was uh, that meme that Ryan oxtail. P shared, Stretch, about oxtail gravy? Oh. Do you guys have like a, a hidden little spot that we don't know Stretch, about? Stretch, you don't have a mic, do you? I do not have a mic. Oh. Oh, Great. Fuck, I'm dying over here without my producer so. mic'd up. <laughs> How, how's the show even going to happen? We rely on Stretch so much. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to get a fact check if Stretch doesn't have a mic? Can still hear me. Are you, are you saying like can you... We? I, I mean, can't, I can hear I you. I can't hear you. But can they hear you? No. The no. TD world? No. The TD nation? They can't hear you? So then what's the point? The so wow. you're, you're one of those guys now. Mm-hmm. He's a traveling drunk. He just yells shit out. <laughs> I mean, we've all been there. No, we're all, you can take Chelsea's mic. She's not using it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk. Mondays. Yes, it is Monday. It still is Monday, as a matter of fact. I'm excited about Florida time. I want to see if they actually call it Florida time. Florida man on Florida time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're right. Recreational marijuana should be a thing here. But I was talking. All right, I was talking to Maddie the other day. He was in Alaska. Alaska's got recreational marijuana. What? And yeah, 
and uh, I was we were talking about like the logistics of it. Like, like it's like drinking. You can't just walk around the street drinking a beer or whatever. You can't walk around the street. You can do that in New joint. Orleans though. But you can do that here because they do it all the time. And it's, you just have to be low key. Not even. You just don't. You're not like, hey, officer, I'm smoking a blunt. <laughs> you just smoke it. You know what? Maybe there's just not enough cops. There are more than enough. Cops, yeah. <laughs> more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, why would you even ever say that? Why this is? <laughs> and on the subject of marijuana, I gotta say it, it bothers me that all this anti-school shooting thing. It's like supposed to be a national day of uh, protest for that shit. It's supposed to be on 420. That's the Columbine anniversary. Yeah, but still, it's like a mass it collect. An it's like a collective um, distraction for the fact that one, it's Hitler's birthday. And two, um, it's like a day to get high with your friends and skip mm. school. Not because you're going to protest something that's pointless, but because you're trying to get high. So now all the kids that would have been like, all right, I'm not going to school because I'm going to go to my buddy's house and sit down and smoke weed all day. I'm like, I'm not going to school because I'm protesting. And I hate protesters so much. You hate protesters? Yeah. Not so much protesters, but you ever protesters see, you ever with see the movie? You ever see the movie PCU? No. Where uh, the guys were getting upset at all the protesters because they kept on getting protests. And then they're like, you know what? I hate you protesters. You know what? We're not going to protest. And then everybody was like, you know what? We're not going to protest. And then they got a whole bunch of people to chant, we're not going to protest. We're not going to protest. We're not going to protest. Then he gets a rally of like hundreds of people to fucking be like, we're not going to protest. And like, like they're it. all protesting the fact that they're not going to protest. Gonna protest. There's a comedian good. has a joke about that, something was good. along the lines of, um, like, uh, I'm a person that hates people, and uh, I wish all of us people who hate people could band together. It's just so hard to get us all together in one group, or something like that. Hates each other. Yeah, that would be the joke. Welcome to the show, though, Chelsea. How you doing today? You feeling good? Chelsea, just after. Uh, <laughs> I mean, how do, you, how do you do it for a whole week? That's what I want to know. Do you want status fabulous? <laughs> if you want to call it that. Well, I wouldn't. Deal with you? Deal with you? Oh, wow. shit. Oh, hey, by the you way, know what? He drove somebody to Alaska, so I guess uh, you know how that goes. Honestly, the last person, <laughs> the last, the last person I dated moved to Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... The last much? person he dated, he said, you know what, I'm going to go in the furthest place away from Florida. <laughs> I'm going to go to not, I'm not talking about Washington. I'm talking about I'm going to go past that into Canada. Yeah. Past go beyond Canada. Canada <laughs> into yeah. where, uh, the, almost the North Pole. And damn near Russia. So um, it's it's a miracle that we're even here with him right now. Did you say damn near Russia? Yes. Yes, damn near It's Russia. closer to Russia than it is to yeah, Washington. Do you remember what Sarah Palin said? She said, we got to look over the uh, sea to keep an eye on all the Russian polar bears or well, some shit. Well, she's fucking stupid. I don't know how. She was also so hot that She Eminem wasn't hot. Made a she joke wasn't about hot. Her. She was hotter than Hillary Clinton. She was as hot as Lisa Ann, and we all jerked off to her. Who we know that. Who the fuck is Lisa Ann? You, if I showed you a picture of Lisa Ann. Show me know. a picture of Lisa Ann. Do we have a, do we have a file photo of Lisa Ann, please, who? to show this guy? Who is Lisa Ann? See? See? Apparently she stripped at the strip club that Lisa Billy Ann. and JD were at. Who right, the fuck you, is Lisa Ann? You guys don't know Lisa Ann? Jesus I don't know. Christ. Do you know Lisa Ann? All right, let me find a photo. Right. You know it. Well, I, I'll show you this picture. doesn't know Lisa Ann. All right. Oh, I'm um, yeah, okay. here. Pause for a fact check. Sorry, I don't. Oh, yeah. We do have to pause for a fact Michael check. Yo, Michigan Mike in the house. Hello. Hey, by the way. Uh, we also asked who's winning a basketball tournament. Who, who is? cares? Oh, yeah. Uh, What's a basketball tournament? Hope everybody, hope everybody got their brackets in. Wait, what basketball tournament? The fucking March Madness, yo. Yeah? Oh, okay. Wrong podcast, Mike. Yeah. Wrong podcast. Well, you want to comment to Dark Hour about that shit? I don't. I don't comment know. to. What's that supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it? Just Doesn't because? Mean just because be it likes basketball? Cast. Yeah, our sports. All right, cast. I just I just submitted a photo to Stretch. Maybe soon, a picture of Lisa Ann will pop up on the screen, and y'all. Well, well, I'm going to look at it because I don't know who it is. Lisa Ann. Well, do you know Sarah J? Do you know Pinky? And the brain? Oh, Pinky with the giant Pinky. ass and the long tongue? Wait, is this the yeah, chick? Pinky. Is this the chick that played uh, in Austin Powers? No, it isn't. No, that, that was Elizabeth Hurley. Yeah, that's right. That's a Lisa hell of a Ann. rifle on, this lady's got. Like, I, don't, like, I don't know who like she is. Like the fucking page right now if you know who Lisa she, Ann is. She does look like Sarah Palin, though, I will say. Like, that's why she was, in, she was in the porno. Nailin Palin. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys never see this? 
You guys no, aren't connoisseurs. No, it's like, it's apparently like, it's not. It's like having a fine wine collection. Is except, it? Except instead, it's it's in your bookmarks on your phone. So you got the Paris Hilton sex tape in that bitch. That was boring. It was boring. It was almost as boring um, as the Kim K sex tape. I didn't watch it. Also, the Kardashians not attractive. The picture's up. The picture's up. All right, guys. Right there. Look at this. Is it by the number? No, it's you're not even pointing. At it. Uh oh. Well, it's God damn it. <laughs> there it is, right in the middle. Oh. There it is. Look. <laughs> so if if you're not into a, uh, a tall, leggy, fake titted cleavage. AK AR toting glasses wearing library busty tan porno chick, then I don't know what you're into. With an assault rifle. With an uh, AK assault, AK 47, bang bang boom boom. Uh, honestly, she's not attractive. Honestly, she doesn't. it doesn't matter because she's going to take out a whole school. So, or that's, that's or like a movie that's theater. In a whole school. Oh. That's, I would watch that. Hey, you know what? More and more of those stories are popping up where it's like, high school teacher bang football team. Yeah, what's up with that? There's She's that shamed the rest of the shooting. football team says so they're victims, one, but really they're high-fiving. pregnant by like that 13-year-old kid. She's totally happy about it, and his parents are cool with it, too. Wow. Were they Catholic? No idea. I mean, I'm going to be honest. If I had a 13-year-old son and he was banging his hot teacher that was like 23, 24, I'd be like, all right, I can condone this. How am I going to say no? How are you gonna say, oh, okay, I'm not about that? No, you just say no. You say no. I don't feel like I'd be that concerned. However you say no in Spanish, that too. I think you say it, no. Como se dice no in Espanol, this, uh, no. Como se dice... I can see Kaylin's rock from my house. See, that's the joke. <laughs> she can see Putin, see, come on guys. You, you get it. You get it. We're having fun. <laughs> We're having fun. These people, they're unpop cultured. Is that pop culture? No. Yeah, popular culture. We should have brought the goddamn 80s, 90s trivia game over here. No, we shouldn't have, because that would have been a horrible call. Speaking of 80s... Hey, y'all. How are you? <laughs> We're at Jay's. We've got people walking in. And that'll be the end of that. I like how they're both wearing purple. <coughs> no. Excuse me. Blue doesn't belong with red. Blue doesn't belong with red. Sorry. Wow. What is it, the sharks how and about, the jets? How about you don't be racist? Jesus now. Christ. All right. Have you seen a Takesha 6 9 video? No. Fuck There's blue and red all day. What is, really? What is Takesha 6 9 He's one of them shitty rappers the, that I seem to find Rainbow really quickly. I don't know. I have a knack for finding really shitty rappers is. that end up blowing up. Like blowing their faces up with a shotgun? Yeah, shotgun? Like, like the little pumps, the little peeps, all that shit. Yeah. I was showing Chelsea some shit the other day. She's like, why are you playing me this? And I was like, just watch, you'll be hearing it like in everybody's car stereo with their windows down on Alafaya like next month. And she's like, you have a knack for horrible shit. And I was like, no, I have a knack for finding horrible shit before the public gets used to it. And likes it. So basically, I just see this shit, I just let you know what the curve coming up. So, but how does that help? That's like now um, we're It's, it's, now like, we're it's going like having a forecast a of a hurricane, you know what I mean? You know it's coming, you have time to prepare and hunker down. How do you prepare for that? What is the picture? Oh yeah, this, God, fucking this, guy, fucking this fucking guy, this fucking clown, you already know what I'm talking Christ. about. They were playing this guy at Castaways the other night, and then I was like, oh, this is that song. He's like, what song? And I went up to the DJ, and he's like, 6 9 And he's like, what, you don't know this? I'm like, no, I know it. I, I just don't think everybody else here knows it. But, you know, as soon as so, it gets played on XL 106.7, it'll be all good. There was a picture on Facebook, a meme, I guess, is like, who should stop playing music? There's a bunch of white Jay's. people pointing to this guy. Uh, I'm about Oh, jeez. <laughs> Fair point. Um, <laughs> God damn it, Torn. But yes, uh, that guy should definitely stop making music. It's not even good music. If it was good, I don't give a fuck if he looks like a Skittles rapper. <laughs> and I don't mean a Skittles, Skittles rapper. rapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't. <laughs> Why are you Snapchatting while we're on podcast? Because I Snapchat my whole life. It's horrible. I guess you do. As long as you don't do it, we're on copious amounts of drugs. I do. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know you do. Mm -hmm. mm. The head of Waterford Security follows my Snapchat. Really? Oh, yeah. I would, too, if I was the head of Waterford Security. It's okay. I follow his, too. It's just a bunch of hunting videos. Really? The head of Waterford Security is a hunter? Yeah. Does he hunt people? He's a head hunter. Bison? There's no bison here. <laughs> you just have, like, wild turkey and boars. Is that what he hunts here? 
He drinks wild turkey. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, fingers. Bone call. in. Bone in. People na- fingers. Nails out. D nailed. D nailed. Yeah. <laughs> Bone in. People fingers. Uh-huh. D nailed. It's Wait. like you could have like a D detailed D vein shrimp, or you could have a whole shrimp and then do it yourself later. Right. Get the prep work. Which in. is gross. Mm-hmm. But I don't like to do it at the table. I'm not scooping shit out of a shrimp just before I eat it. It's you're talking weird. about the uh, the shrimp shit scoop. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta split it and scoop it. You know. <laughs> Some people eat that shit. I've know, seen people like, <laughs> like I've seen people eat fucking <laughs> shrimp tails, dude. I've That's seen it too. After it's been fried, because you know how you fry a whole shrimp and the tails yeah, come I mean, out. It's not gonna hurt just, you I mean, unless it spikes your lungs like, or something. No, like but that. it's like it's okay. It's the equivalent of like a popcorn kernel or like a bean shell. Yeah, the you just don't you, eat it. Well, no. The older you get, you can eat it, but the older you get, the more you have trouble digesting shit, and so yeah. those things can actually stay like in your colon tract and then turn into polyps. Polyps turn into cancer. So that's why, like, older people or people that have, like, celiac disease or some kind of immune deficiency, they say stay away from beans, nuts, uh, popcorn, all the shit with the shells, because uh, that shit will get stuck in the track, man, and you end yeah. up uh, dying from popcorn. What about gum? Have you ever popcorn lung? Popcorn lung? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I don't even know what that there is. There was a guy who sued Orville Redenbacher because he ate fucking bagged popcorn, microwave popcorn, like, every day his entire life. Well, that's a hard one. And he ended call. up getting something called popcorn lung. Which is like kind of the same thing that you get from asbestos. Okay. And Does popcorn won't... actually have that in it? Is it just like the microwaving process? Mm-hmm. That it's whatever. It? It's some weird shit. It, it's like. Can you sue? Or he lost. He did. I, hope. I think he, he won it. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, no one told him to eat fucking popcorn twice well, a day for his entire life. It's the same thing with the life. people that sue McDonald's for being obese. Or like, spilling hot coffee. Yeah. Right. It's called. Frivolous lawsuits. Yeah. Well, that shit annoys the fuck out of me. You shouldn't be able to sue people. Well, I mean, why can't you go out after big corporation? They got millions of bucks. I mean, I'm down, with, I'm down with the common man taking their money. I'm just, yeah. not, I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I guess if that's have some the only respect way you and some responsibility. It. Stop yeah, being for poor for on your own money no, instead no, no, of fucking no, no, going no, out no, 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 and no, suing no, lawsuits no, 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 to get no, no. fucking See, money off of people who have money. Down on the poor people. People don't choose to be poor. Fucking poor people. You, you, hate, you hate poor people like I hate fat people. I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> well, what, what if we what if we both ran across a fat poor person? Would I we think both we just beat both them up. Be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like, you know what? Let's fuck this like, guy. Like, how are you out. so fat when you're so poor? Seriously. Oh, you are fat and poor. Easy fat poro. Yeah, fat poro. Fatty fatty poor poro. Uh, old fat poro. Here comes old fatty fatty oh. poor pants coming down. Old poor fatty fat. <laughs> pants are too tight and too empty. <laughs> 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 Billy pants too tight, Johnson pockets too doll, empty. The old well fatty yours. poor poor. The only, the only person we're missing right now is David. Like David David? No, like Nick Like David. Nick David. That's David David. Billy's here. Much to my chagrin. Chagrin. Wow. I forgot Natalie, what we were what talking about. Get? We got distracted by poor people. Can we get this on camera? Can you can we show it to us real quick? Can we see what this shit is? What they have to offer over here? Mother, mother fuck, dog. Look at that shit. God damn. Oh, oh no, no. Oh no. Oh, that's savage. That's we didn't ask for that. Is that Natalie's filling? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, I think we're all gonna wow. take a bite out of it. That's really good. Oh man, it's even worse. <laughs> Your sandwich just got tag team. It just got ran a train I on. Out of no, no, it's, I, I, don't I, I, I don't want last. I, I don't want last. She's getting last. Stretch. <laughs> oh my god. That was good. <laughs> there That's goes good one quarter said. of her entree right there. <laughs> well, you said you didn't want to eat too much before Danquetsu. You tonight, did say so. that. That's a lot of bread. There, you guys are helping her. See, we're a team here, all right? <laughs> we look out for each other. Yeah, we look out for each other, no you know? TV left behind. No, we remember stuff, you know? Uh, you know? Which is a thing. I think every time that someone's going to get left on a beach or in a park somewhere, whenever we take a bus somewhere, somehow we always make it back with everybody. Man, I don't know how so it good. happens. Yeah, I don't know how it happens. Yeah, no TD left <laughs> behind. I can't believe I just watched you shove that. I can't believe they just watched you shove that in your face like that. It was impressive and nauseating all at the same time. It smells good still. Yeah, well, how many crumbs are you going to get on the table with such a small piece? See, that's the thing about French bread, though. You know what I mean? You got the little seasoning on top. It's good, though. You need that shit. It's delicious. This public, absolutely. Um, So we got this hat right here. (laughs) We got our St. Patty's hats in. 
So find stretch in the larger Waterford area tonight doing the Waterford cash in cash in Mondays. Greater. The greater Waterford yeah. area. It's not large, it's not like it's not it's large, but it's big. It's not large, but it is greater than most of the other Waterford areas. The greater Waterford area doing cash in Mondays. Social house bingo from seven to nine thirty. <laughs> so bingo bingo from eight to ten. Social house. Do the thing. Get it. Yo. Love it. Love it. Go to Enjoy castaways. It. You start at two in the morning to do uh Which they have a pool table they have a pool table at castaways. Oh yes, we got a pool table at castaways now. Yay! Yay. Which can go one of two ways. Which can go one of two ways. It's gonna go either really classy. And we're gonna have some really nice doctor lawyers come in with their marble pool sticks that they have to screw together out of their little leather satchels. Or, or you'll have a bunch of drunks, you know, breaking pool sticks mm -hmm. over each other's heads. And betting people, betting people, five dollars a game. Yeah, they're fighting each other in the parking lot because so, uh, it was a scratch. No, it wasn't a scratch. But as far as as far as pool goes in this side of town, you either have one it. of three options. You got, Kegler, you which got trick shots, option. the bowling alleys, or uh, castaways, and we yep. all know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Yep. And I think they should have gotten two, because one is, it's just going to be a hassle. I agree. It's going to be a hassle. It is. I'm down. I'm going to play it, but... You're going to take all my quarters and leave them on the fucking table and be yeah. like, come on! Yeah. Come on, I want to play nine ball, bitch. I mean, but Waterford is missing a pool spot. Mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, I mean, Confines, shots, Confines had pool tables. That's what drew I mean, you got everybody in. Yeah, they had Where's two pool, pool tables in a 10 by 10 square okay. room. You got crows on your face. Why don't you take that shit off of your face? Just tell me. I did already. Okay, but you didn't have to wipe my face. All right, next time I'll leave it. You still got some crows on your face. <laughs> you still have some ugly on yours. No, I know, but you can't wipe that off. It's just. That's a shame. It's just yeah. there. You say God hates ugly? I don't think God hates ugly. Didn't God create ugly? Doesn't God love ugly? Now? I think it's God loves ugly. Yeah. Oh God, I hate ugly too, though. Anyways, Confines had pool tables. So did Social House. Social House had a pool table, and then they took it out, and then they brought it back, and then they took it out. Gators had one, they took it out. Gators, I didn't, I didn't, I've never even played on Gators pool table. It was, it was gone before I ever went there. I'm sure it was. Um, con, uh, it was very lopsided. Where? Devaney's 2 had 2, had 4, or 3 pool tables. But that place was nasty and closed. Uh, well, there's still the Divinity's and University. Yeah, you know what but I that's would always love to want that I saw on TV? Remember the Drew Carey show? Yeah. I think the, the cast of the Drew Carey show, they'd be a bunch of good traveling drunks. Probably. Uh, but remember he had that side yard and he had a pool table outside in the yard? No, I don't. And then, like, even cool. when it rained, they played pool, like, in their rain jackets. It was, like, a totally beat-up, weathered fucking pool table. They just didn't give a fuck. They like, just fuck didn't it. give a fuck. The pool, ta the pool table was outside. I don't remember that, but that's pretty cool. I, I would love to fucking do that. Oh, yeah, I'll play on a busted That'd be a perfect addition pool to the Pillow Palace. Oh, yeah. Just right in the back and the side with the fucking lights and shit. Let it get ruined. Just let it get ruined, bro. Just let the elements take it over, but we can still play it. Yeah. It's I mean, good. eventually it's still I mean, going to be sweet. Pool, pool is already ratchet, so let's just ratchet it up even more. I mean, pool itself is not ratchet. Oh, but yeah. the, the, the society around pool yes, that's is the certainly ratchet as fuck. Mm -hmm. Especially when like you get into modern day shit. Like even 10, 20, 30 years ago, it's still like, oh, pool halls, fucking scamming bikers at a bar to fucking, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it does always have that seedy element to it. Yeah. But, this but, fucking beach bucket, the TD yeah. beach bucket is my shit right here. It is delicious. Rock and roll. It took me a minute. Still plenty of ice left, though. Speaking of minutes, feels like a good time for a few minutes with bicycles. <laughs> I guess it is now a good time for a few moments for bicycles. That's what it's called, a few moments for bicycles. I can never get that right either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I can say minutes, but then you go with moments. It kind of like has moments. like a little flair. It's like a, you're not subjecting to some uh, time frame, you know? It's moments. Moments can be seconds or minutes mm -hmm. or hours. Mm -hmm. However, moments are a little more precious. Moments. Yeah. Precious moments. Well, they're, they have leeway when you define it as a moment as opposed to a minute. Minutes are like, ah, uh, that's 60 seconds. A few 60 seconds is like two, three minutes, and you far exceeded that, sir. Like, no. I said a few moments. 
So fuck it. Exactly. It can't really be defined. It can't. All right, well, hey there, guys. It's me, Torin, your favorite neighborhood local bike guy. Here to talk to you about a few moments for bicycles. <laughs> now, this is the shit I hear a lot all the time when people come in, and people come in looking for this specifically. It's not offered that much, but they're like, hey, can I get disc brakes on my road bike? I did. And I just go, ah. A road bike is like when you see the Tour de France, the Olympics. This is the fucking fast bike with Lance the Lance Armstrong bars. drives it. Yeah, Schwinn Armstrong, spandex pants, fucking sunglasses. You're going fast. You're doing the goddamn thing, That dude's thing, not right? on a BMX bike. No. Disc brakes, all right? They're on motorcycles. They're on cars. And they got fucking I like hydraulic lines. I the disc brakes look, though. It's, they look cool. They look sweet. I'm sure they it look works awesome. better, too. But yeah, well, you think it works better, but do you really need that much stopping power Probably on a bicycle? Not. I have. I almost fall using the front brake on regular brakes. Exactly. Front brake? Imagine that so much more stopping power. Now it's in the front. Yeah, but if what do you do? Just fucking smash your face every single time you need to stop? That's well, how much you power is there. there. You kind of like trigger finger it. Sometimes, but there's that learning curve. Some people get some, you know, it'd be like, hey, you don't know much about sports cars. Here's the fucking the brand newest, most Corvette you've ever had in your life. And you'll go crashing in a tree right off the lot. Shit happens all the time fucking with brand new road bikes. You get somebody coming in here, they're buying fucking a high piece of machinery. They really don't know what they're doing. That's why I try to say, hey, wear your gear, be calm, chill out, do this shit. Disc brakes were originally made for fucking mountain bikes because mountain bikes downhill, you need stopping yeah. power. And with the old school Y caliber brakes, they stop along the rim. And you're in a mountain bike, dirt, mud, rain, yeah, it's this not shit's gonna, gonna catch slip. It. Yeah. So they built the disc brakes uh, because it's up out of those nasty elements. And then when it needs to stop, fucking needs to stop. Brake pads, whatever. You got mechanical disc brakes and you got hydraulic disc brakes. Mini fluid in the line, just like on a fucking car or a motorcycle. Or you can just have a cable pulling it. Anyway, so it's just meant for mountain bikes. But then people are putting them on road bikes now, and there's no reason to except for that they're, they're becoming more affordable because the technology is there and available. But so road now, bikes go super fast. Exactly. I feel like the if you hit a will do disc like, brake, you're going to... You can do like close to 30 if you're like a good athlete on a road bike. Um, so yeah, you need that stopping power, but it's kind of like... But not that fiercely. It's, it's just a fresh, fresh stopping power. It, need, it needs to be tuned as less. It's a little more there. I mean, the price point is up there, but it's just like... Just the industry's like going that way. It's unnecessary. The, the, people are putting disc brakes on beach cruisers. Keep in mind, Why? a beach cruiser barely tops 15 miles an hour if also, you're busting your ass. Also, it's usually like foot brakes. Exactly. Exactly. So that's just the market. That's just an industry saying, hey, disc brakes are here. They're available. It's like, it'd be like a couple years ago, like 15, 20 years ago when the Fast and Furious came out. And they, put spoilers, they put spoilers on every car. And really, the only reason you need a spoiler is to fuck it. If you're going fast enough, you want yeah, the draft to, the to back push the back end down. If lifting up, people yeah. are putting spoilers on front-wheel drive cars. Just for a look, <laughs> just for an aesthetic. <laughs> so if you want to go ahead and put a disc brake on that's made out of fucking, like, aluminum, it's kind of light, but have some weird clunky shit on your bike, go ahead, go for it. But you don't need it. You're still doing good with the Y-caliber brakes, the old-school caliber brakes. Come in, ask me to do that shit. You want some disc brakes? Yeah, you gotta pay for the disc brakes. That's like 50 bucks. Now you gotta get a fork that accepts that shit. Do you have a fork on there or not? Okay, guess what? Now your fork is gonna be like another 50 to 150 dollars. Now what? Now we gotta redo the lines? Sure, we can do all that shit. But why would you want to throw all that shit into your bike when you just like let it ride? It's just gonna get stolen. Yeah. If it's if it if it ain't fixed, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. It's it's kind of like. No, well, I'm not putting disc brakes on your fucking beer beach cruiser, Billy. Well, I'm gonna God be honest. So I was in your bike shop the other uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I'm you were helping customers, so I was just walking around looking at shit, and I'm noticing I never knew disc brakes on a bicycle were a thing until this time. And I'm noticing, and I'm like, oh, cool, that's like disc brakes. Is that is that a real thing? Yes. And, but I'm looking yeah. at it, and I'm like, I kind of like like it's fail proof. It's like sometimes through. even just riding around like regular city riding you go through puddles or some shit or whatever and yeah. sometimes your brakes don't work as well. Yeah. But I feel like a disc brake is always going to work exactly how it was supposed to work every single time. It so is. even in a situation like this like yeah you say it's, it comes from like oh mountain bikes down hills and yeah that's the reasoning for it. That's probably the only reason you would want them but I feel like it it would still be better. Than it would be better. All right, I'll put it. I'll put it like this. They, all right, so you still have like a 1978 Dodge Ram on the road today. It's old as fuck. The brakes still work. The car still works, but it's just old and clunky and ugly. It'll still work, 
Just does look does it look as cool to a, like a brand new 2018 fucking Silverado? Well, it's not the looking cool that I'm talking about. I'm talking about know, strictly right? functionality. Yeah. I mean, it still works, but I guess it works better. I guess like how a sundial works, but a digital fucking right. cell so phone. So the sundial is not better. broken. Yes. But we we didn't fix the sundial. We just used something made it better. better. So basically, disc brakes are the digital watch, and old brakes are the sundial. So disc brakes on your road bike, sure, go for it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Come on down and, and see me at Cycle Spectrum, and I'll, I'll show you a bike, and you can take a test ride. Break yourself. Break yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> I like it, though. Oh, shit. Um, so, uh, how do you guys feel about dogs jumping out of car windows? You feel like the person should have expected that to happen when they opened the window enough for their wild animal to jump out of? Do we even do you, have you ever put a pet in a car before? A lot of have you ever had an animal in a car before? What? A parrot? A dog? And, uh, you know, the one cat that jumped in our car. Cat Junior? <laughs> oh, no, that was, uh... That was Cat or Cat Junior? Cat. It was Cat Junior. Was it was yeah, cat we had a stowaway yeah. cat. Anybody like, who's watched podcasts cat. long enough will know that we had a stowaway cat. We had a stowaway. Oh, one of our Yeah, there was, there was like six or eight months ago, we were leaving to go to stretches. We were late because we had to turn around and bring a cat Yeah, because the uh, we, were, we were driving, we made it to Alafea, and then we noticed there's a cat I in the truck. In the, the, the cat truck, noticed and the it, cat that, fucking that, noticed. that it like yeah. woke up from its nap. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? I got there it a cat around. on me. I'm like, oh my fucking God, there's a cat in the car. Yeah, that shit was fucked up. It was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was it was but exciting. But there was a one time that um, me and my sister rode with a mouse. We had a mouse named Pet Des- D- Dusty, our pet mouse named Dusty. Did you let it just and run around the car? No, my sister had a pair of overalls on, and she had her in her overalls. Okay, so and if she, she passed out, the mouse is like, all right, peace. No, she never. She never took her out. She never came out of. Came oh, out just of her. Out. I'm okay. just saying. You just all you asked me is if we rode around with pets in the car. Okay, so that's the only. That's pet literally all you asked me. I've Has any of my pets jumped out of the car? I've had multiple Once pets jump out. My of dog the car. jumped out of the car, but it was and it was like it wasn't. He was like a puppy. I want to be honest. He never did it again after he hurt himself. Yeah, no shit. Once you jump out of a car once, you're like, okay, it was a that was a bad spaniel, call. So he, he hurt himself pretty bad. Poor thing. All right, pet, animals in traffic is, I guess, kind of the point I'm trying to get at here. Um, I feel like if you're driving a car and the animals in traffic, just keep going. Like you're gonna feel bad about it. Bro. How are you? How are you like? How do you survive being such a dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Me? <laughs> <laughs> like. How is that even possible? Oh. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't. Co- I wouldn't. Obviously, wouldn't stop or stomp on the brakes. Like, of course, but at, make same, a lot but at worse. the same time, if I see the animal, but if I see the animal, like I'm at a saying, good distance, I'm obviously gonna well, like yeah, try and stop being before. A dick about it. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, you, I mean, you just said if you see an animal in the middle of the road, you're not stopping. Right. That's not. That's not saying if you see him last minute in the middle of the road. That's in, the, that's in general. You just pretty I'm not much saying said. like, oh, there's a tortoise slowly oh, crawling a, across the street, yeah, and I notice him from ten miles that's back. That's exactly how you sounded. Like, all right, what lane is he going to be in by the time I get there? No, that's, that's not that's what I'm exactly saying. That's exactly how you I'm gonna, sounded. I'm be like, all right, let me stop and help this guy across the road because he's not going to make it. But if you're an animal in a vehicle and you jump out of that vehicle, I'm not going to stop. If I, I can. Like, my, my safety concern is the other people and my own self, as opposed to that animal that jumps out. It makes me feel bad, because, like, I, see, I go on the Waterford Lake name. Talks, and there's so many people, like, that have lost dogs and all that stuff. Okay, I understand that, but are you a vegetarian or a vegan? <laughs> no, and I'm not going to eat the dog that I hit on the freeway either. Yeah. So you're totally... Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're totally fine with murdering living things for our own... Deliciousness. I, I yes, yes. I, 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 I'm, no, I'm not okay, totally okay, including humans. Well, do yes. you wear leather? I mean, I, I, I do you wear leather? I have a leather jacket. I like. So you ate a giant steak. Yeah. So we had you, you, you use things made out of animal products. Yeah. Mm. You don't sound like a bleeding heart liberal to me. No, not at well, all. Why do you care about a freeway dog? Because. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm torn. 
You hate poor. Because, you okay. hate poor people so much that it extends into animals. Like, <laughs> well, I can understand if, if you're like a vegan or a vegetarian. If right? you're not a privileged enough dog to have been born into a family that's gonna take care of you, you're a dirty, nasty, trashy street. Yeah, so dog. you care about a neighborhood dog, but you don't care about like tons and tons of chickens and pigs and cows that you murder See, all the that time. that bothers me more. I would rather. Yeah. I'd rather hit a dog on the street than than like Eat to plow through a chicken farm because I'm like these chickens already yeah, have kind of be- a rough life <laughs> so I'm not going to make it worse yeah. but like now they have to sit in oh, this cage with a broken leg but if you are privileged enough to be in a in a car and then you decide to jump out that bitch I'm not I have no remorse for you I'd, st- I'd try to save it don't don't no n- no $2 dollar dollar mango tequila, tequila sunrises, sunrises. No, while supplies you put that shit in front of me yeah. I would hurt you here. <laughs> <laughs> see this is this is the kind of hospitality you would expect here at, at Jay's Jay's hideout. Shot. Honestly, you are taking the shot you want to repeat it last week? See, I like it. How Joey just came in and saved the show. All right, it's kind of dipping a little bit. We started talking about murdering pets. Who was talking about murdering pets? I was when eating chicken wings. Come on. <laughs> you have pet chicken? Not yet, but I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> I knew somebody that had a pet uh, pig. It's a pillow talk. Really cool, actually. Was it a marvelous pig? No, but um, it was better than a dog. Mm. You ever, you ever know anybody who had a pot belly pig pet? Or a pig pet? Not personally, Pig no. pet? Mm-hmm. Pet is a pig? Pig is a pig? Say pot belly pig pet? Pot belly pig pet? Pot belly pig pet? Pig pet. Stretch, you want this shot that uh, Chelsea is not going to drink because no. she's a bitch? Norris, not you want this? i a bitch, but if you want to deal Norris, with come, come, come fetch us. Come fetch us, bro. Come fetch. get it. Fetch. Norris. Fetch. Come on. Don't get hit on the freeway, but Drink fetch. this. Oh. Come on. He's is that, is that a no? Put it down. All right. Okay, well. <laughs> Not take it down, put it down. Oh, you passed up a well, I'm shot. from the south, man. Yeah. I'm from the south, that's what you say. That's what I said all the time, go fetch. This, this is how it goes, people say, well, how long until the bike gets here? I say, Excuse well, me, this is a sensitive the bike, free zone. The bike is here three to five business days, and then once it's here, we get assembled the same day, and then we call you and tell you to come fetch it. Do you literally also, say that? I also say y'all. I like y'all. Um, I what else do I y'all. say? I say a lot of shit, man. That's just what they said on, um, what was that movie? Turner and Hooch? Were they Turner pink? No. Pink? Uh, I was trying to make fetch happen. Oh, oh uh, mean fucking girls. Mean Girls. Trying to make fetch happen? Fetch. I didn't like Mean Girls. That was so fetch. Yeah, that's stupid. Stop trying to make fetch happen, Gretchen. It's never going to happen. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can't sit with us. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something somebody would say on Mean Girls. On Mondays, we drink booze. We do. On Monday, we win cash. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Yes, so tonight is Money Monday. Water I for feel cash. Like Stretch keeps cash chiming in and he has no microphone. I can't hear him. Can you hear him? So we got bingo. We got What was the results of beer pong last week? Somebody won. Um, John won. John won. John, John the bartender? Like John the bartender? John Bond's check. With who? With whoever his partner was on. Damn, dude. John's, John and John's partner. How'd bingo, how'd bingo go last week? I Did lost. Dina take it? No. Um, I don't know who took it, actually. I know my boy Thomas was there. He didn't win it. Bama? Bama? Hey, man, I'm just telling you what, man. I'll tell you what, like my pappy always told me, man. Uh, if you ain't working hard, you ain't hard DJ to work. DJ won uh, <laughs> duck racing again last night. <laughs> yeah, so DJ, DJ, DJ came came duck racing. last night. How did that shit go duck racing styles? I want to see next the week. UDC. What's the UDC. What's the UDC looking like right now? DJ is now a five-time champion. Five-time. She's uh, one of three, Judy. isn't she? Killing it. Is she not one of three five-time champions? No, one of two. One of two. The other is Cummings? Chase. No, the other one would be the Honey Badger, who's a six-time champion. D. Oh, so she's technically the only Wow, man. Okay. You know, it's just like, it's, it's the same shit over and over again. It's like Chicago Bulls, Chicago Bulls, Chicago yeah, right. Bulls, Spurs, Spurs, Spurs. It's all good. Fucking okay, Patriots. Mm-hmm. Not and, a sports uh, cast. So, uh, can we show all these karaoke flyers right now? I just wanted to make yeah. fun of Yeah, honestly, what's up with that? Karaoke back. Well, listen, no, I was on YouTube, and some of the trending videos on YouTube right now are rappers doing karaoke. So it's like back Literally. in a big way, kind of deal. Like it's, every, not, it's not just enough. here in our little local side of town where, you know, people are generating business, getting people in the doors. It's what's, like, what's interesting is that we weren't 
waterfront area wasn't influenced wasn't trying by an to outside do it. It way happened. or anything. Because where was, where was the only place that I know that karaoke is at for the longest time was Big Daddy's. Big Daddy's in fucking Daddy's. Uh, Baldwin Park, Mulberries. out there in Winter Park, dude. Okay. They, they've been killing it for years. Time. If you want to do karaoke, either go to iDrive, City Walk, Rising Star, or you kill or, yourself. Or you kill yourself, exactly. But now, it's, it's slamming, dude. It can't be stopped. Everywhere you go, it's like a fucking infestation. But it's people like, like, spinners. People it's like, like spinners. like spinners this time last year. Like fidget spinners except it's karaoke. People like to do karaoke. So, uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so we got the Pillow Palace karaoke, as you as you yeah. all know. Sure, some of you have not seen that already. Please it's do been not really good. Um, I, 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 I do a really mean little peep cover. I don't know if you've ever he seen it before. And it's horrible. Come on down to the Pillow Palace and watch me do karaoke of Little Peep. You'd love please it. Please don't do that. Uh, we also got, um, which one is that? Chats. Mulberry Street That's karaoke. No, this it's, is not Mulberry. Yeah, that is. The devil Oh, yeah, is. it is. Okay. Uh, don't forget your local watering hole in Avalon. That You can sing sing along to theirs, those drunk tunes as don't well. I don't like Mulberries either, I gotta say. It's Mulberry's too far away from me. Friday I like night. that it's on a corner. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, oh, Castaway's karaoke. Castaway's karaoke uh, is actually kind of amazing. It is kind I'm of amusing, but it's also kind of obnoxious there. and loud, like yeah, every other karaoke. Yeah, it's totally cool. The they just have karaoke on a bigger screen. Lower, they just need to lower the fucking volume. They really just like no, they don't. Turn it up. Turn like up. Loud. Turn down for what? Dude, fucking, no, Turn I'm down telling for you, fucking fucking what? Ways, their music sometimes be OD to where I can't even fucking breathe. Yeah, well, if, if it's too loud, you're too old. Yes, I'll agree. And then don't forget, here at the J's Hideout, we got fucking karaoke here too. And Jim is motherfucker. And that bitch is on Tuesday. Friday? Friday. Was it Friday? Fuck yeah. Friday at That's a decent flyer right there. Okay. Oh, by the way, speaking of... That was a decent flyer. Because some of the other flyers... Weak. Not so hot. Weak. Pillow Palace, probably the best flyer out in this bitch. You guys need yeah. to come see Joey. No, it's Do not a real shout. thing. Do not Do show up to thing. Pillow Palace. Dude, this oh, is yeah. it's hilarious. Shout. We, I had such a great Shout. time with Joey last week, last Shout. Friday, dude. Hey. Singing hey. around and hey. stuff. And then, of course, uh, uh, Corn Dog really Karaoke at Social. Also known as uh, choreographer Corey, Corey's Corey karaoke. Corey uh, Corey karaoke. Uh, if you want to hear Corey if sing the same songs, if you want to see, see Corey sing on the cracker, come yeah. on down to Waterford, check Uncle that shit out. My ass. It's more like him and Ruben doing. It's like a, it's like a Corey and Ruben in sync concert. It's horrible. It's good. It's good. They, it's they both, uh, they both it's got their shit going Corey on. Okay. That guy okay, has Corey. a St. Patrick's Day shirt on too, man. I got St. Patrick's Day all day long. There's also somebody uh, playing yes. bagpipes on the TV. Yes, dude. I love it. All right. And uh, so, yeah, listen, if you want to come out, for me, my always go-to karaoke songs are Beastie Boys. It's usually like Girls or Brass Monkey. Just because I'm comfortable, it's just the mood. Sometimes you find a partner that's like, come sing Sail Away with me. And like, I'm not singing Sail Away. Like, just sing Sail Away. You're like, I'm not singing. Like, come Sail Away. And, it's, and you get into the groove. So that's turn you on. And um, St. Patrick's Day, y'all. The fucking hats. Look at that shit. Look at it. Mesh back, okay? Remember Punked? Remember 2001 Ashton Kutcher? Okay? Remember your uncle in 1985 when he came over with that fucking beer breath and fucking uh, stained mechanic shirt? This is it right here. This is fucking 80s incarnate. Live the dream, be a trucker, get drunk, do some car bombs. It really does take you back like to your a, Jake days. A John Deere hat, though. Oh, dude, this shit ain't, ain't no fucking so we're not, shit. So we're not doing shirts this year. We're doing St. Patrick's hats. So this year would be uh, St. Patrick's Day up at up at Cassowitz. This is the Cassowitz party. Yeah, it's gonna be Cassowitz. Uh, it's uh, March 17th. Which is funny. I'm gonna be working at Mellow Mushroom. All day. So it's on Saturday, March 17th, and then Saturday, March 18th would be Honey Badger's birthday. On yeah. Cast away, so that is a fun filled honey badger. badger. And the day after yeah. that, he's the one and that. only Honey D Badger. So on Saturday, you're doing St. Patrick's Day celebration. Then on the 18th, which is that Sunday, it's going to be Honey Badger's birthday bash. And then that 19th, Honey Badger is going to be guest bartending at um, at Castaways as well. So that's going to be one hell of a weekend at Castaways. Chelsea, we covered this last week. So what? Oh. You can't cover it every week? I mean, I cover it every week. Exactly, so shut up. I just had the most racist picture show up on my timeline. Okay. Nice. Coming from you, that's hard to believe. Well, yeah. be the judge yourself. You ridiculous, ridiculous. White guys, black guys, hating loud black women are... Well, that's actually... It's more sexist than racist. I think, it, I think it crosses the barriers of both. Can we be sexist, can we be racist, or can it be both just as bad? Well, it's a it's a black guy that's, yeah, that's joining more hands more with a white guy sexist. across the way, and their joint their joint hands are 
What, is it, what does he say? Hating loud hating, black women. Hating loud black women. That could go for hating loud Spanish women or hating loud white women. What it is is that the hatred of loud black women transcends race. Whether you're a black guy or a white guy, you're like, bitch, shut the fuck up. That's what that that's means. Up. That's not but racist it could be, at all. It could be Spanish or a white girl too. It's right. both. It's racist. That's not. It's <laughs> It's racist. <laughs> and all right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's racist yeah. or sexist. This is Trump's America. It's just there a matter of fact. It's not racist. In fact, the fact that there's a white guy and a black guy is. Am like, I wrong? Look, it's not Can a racist. It's not, a race, it's not a race Am thing. Am I wrong? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My point. It's not a race thing. That is, it's that not a race is annoying. Thing. It's just like, hey, we all got that I one big problem. You this is like, chill, checks in the mail, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Well, it's a little different than that, but yeah, still. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a couple birthdays today. Special it's, birthday it's, shout outs. We got Andrew uh, Today, Freyer. it's Marilyn Manson's birthday. He turns 53. Does he? Uh, also, uh, Bob Opsall, the Channel Wait, 9 News guy, he is 72. Do you actually know these things? Uh, also, today, it is uh, Abe Lincoln's birthday. He is 724. Shut the fuck up. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, we got some birthdays in the house. We do. Uh, Andrew Freyer. I want to see you. Yes. Guys. This is a St. Patty's Day hat. Hat Boom. purchase happening on yes. podcast. There we go. Yes. Oh. Where do I go? Right here? Anywhere. Hat Anywhere in the camera will see yes. hat. hat Patrick. This is a good purchase. 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 This, this will last. Okay. This, this we will all last. do it. We all travel drunks. Yes. We all fucking trip on our words. It's okay. Yeah. Support your local drunks. That's what I so say. So it's Andrew Frey's birthday today. Yay! Yes. Yes. Happy birthday! Also, who else we got? Matt McCarthy. Matt McCarthy's birthday is today. Matt, Matt McCarthy. McCarthy. The one and only Irish Mexican. Dude. Can we, can nobody, we get that raggedy ass nobody, picture of him? Oh, yeah. I think Stretch is going to put up the raggedy ass So, Irish Mexican, that's that's an actual drink. I think they made it an archer. Oh, really? No, actually, it was a, it was a black Mexican. And it was uh, oh, yeah, I remember it was, that. It was tequila yeah. and, and, and it, Irish it was cream. An awkward it was like moment. Bailey's and tequila. It was an awkward moment at like a Mexican bar where he's like, I know uh, this is racist. I think, but, uh, I think it was tequila <laughs> and Bailey's. And he just called it a uh, black Mexican or an Irish Mexican. But good people. Also, I got a birthday that popped up on my timeline today. I used to have a manager at a place that I worked. Probably one of the coolest older black females I've ever worked with in my entire life. You worked at a porno store? No. But this bitch is like, oh hell no. Like, she's about that shit. <laughs> LT, shout out to LT. No, we no. <laughs> Oh god! Wait, no, she no, worked for the TSA. No, like, <laughs> she, no, she wasn't like that stupid, ignorant version of that. She was more like make it dumb money. She's more like, you know, I know what's up, and you don't know shit because you're a moron. So fuck you, and I'm gonna tell you that. But LT, happy birthday! So I got LT. I have three birthday LT. notifications on my Facebook today. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Let me call you. Go fuck yourself. You should shave your beard, you look better. Yeah. What are you doing right now? I'm, I'm are you capturing really the moment. recording. I'm capturing the moment. Can you can you give it a rest? Can I give a it a rest? Can no, everybody dude. give it a rest? How about you take a moment to for, enjoy your for all actual of you, life? For all of you that don't know, I am always on. You wanted to talk shit about me earlier for uh <laughs> oh. your face. We'll touch my face. Wait, I wanted to talk shit about you earlier? No, I was talking about Chelsea. Chelsea, you want to talk shit earlier? Yeah. She already did. About what? Hmm? About what? Okay. Okay? Como se dice... Can we talk about... Chicken fries. Can we talk about O.J. Simpson for a moment? Why? Como se dice chicken fries. Oh. No, Pollo fritas. Cannot. Pollo fritas. <laughs> <laughs> can we talk about O.J. No. Simpson for a moment? No. Yes. Well, I'm going yeah, to I love oh. Naked Gun, dude. That was my favorite movie. Naked Gun, he wasn't in that. Yeah, it was. Was he really? Yeah, dude. Bro, I didn't he, know was, he, was, he was the biggest hack, jokey. Listen, whether he killed his wife or not, he's the funniest motherfucker in Naked Gun, dude. He is a funny guy. Well, he was supposed to be in The Simpsons. Um, talking like a, like pre-murder, he was supposed to be in The Simpsons. Is that like pre-cum? Yes. Okay. Because I'm sure he came while he murdered. Whoa, what but, if you got off on like murder sex? Some people do, bro. There are weird people oh, out there. Bro. But Dahmer, bro. OJ Simpson fucking uh... Hey, welcome back to fucking serial killer murder porn cast. Yes, today uh, on this segment we're, we're talking here. about we're, we're murderers here. that got away with it. We're here with the well, guy who's really get away into with seven. It. 
But Dumber didn't get away. What's in the box? Hold on. Let me. Re- let me. How about when that guy fucked that girl to death with that fucking murder dildo, bro? Remember that shit? Yeah, I do. God damn, dude. Let me read, let me read this to you guys. Bro. OJ Simpson <laughs> is described as. Uh, bro, remember the Sixth Sense, dude? No, bro. Nobody remembers the Sixth Sense. Everybody came. <laughs> he already came. He's done. He's not gonna fuck no more. He already came. Who, OJ? Bruce Willis. Oh. Here we got a. Uh, Just this one. Female Spanish eight mile rabbit. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti over here. Mom's rice over here. Yeah. Put some beans in there. Mom's beans. <laughs> you never cook that much. All right, we got a hot, we got a hot ten minutes so, left. So OJ, OJ is described as a, a convicted felon and uh-huh. former actor and football player mm-hmm. who murdered his ex-wife and friend, but was found not guilty. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing I want to know about. What? Is it from Concentrate? Not from Concentrate, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh! Hey, um, god! Honestly, I think he did it. But that's not thats not the reason I'm I don't think he up. would do it, and if he did, he wouldn't write a book about it. The reason I'm bringing him up is because yesterday, Fox posted an interview that was taken 25 years ago about like the whole murder shit where he was promoting the what if i did it book and uh yeah so fucking i would suggest watching it oh what about that new fucking fx tupac shit because fx did the oj thing already that was good miniseries fx tupac bro hey guys hello uh yeah the tupac they're doing an fx tupac thing the tupac biggie one that shit's gonna be huge for me i'm gonna watch that on the bootleg roku or fire stick. Or, uh, I pay for everything. I don't. I don't cause all nothing. He's a liar. I'm all about LimeWire and all that shit. Fucking. You know how long it took to download a CD on LimeWire? Probably a whole day. Well, Roughly. what was your internet connection? Were you 56k? Uh, dial up. Were you T1, T2? I'm talking about. Cable? I'm talking about like 2003. 2003? 2002, 2003. 2003? On the low end, for poor people like you, it would probably be like 128K. You've got to be fucking kidding You're probably rocking 56K. Straight 28. There's, no, there's no K involved. You didn't have it's, a T1? T1 line? It's like, look, you know how you call somebody on a landline and sometimes you can't hear them? That's how my internet connection worked. Wow. Wow, man. I don't think I can listen to this man talk shit about poor people anymore. Really? I don't think I can do it. Well, I mean, you want to go to McDonald's and count how many people buy off the dollar menu? Or you want to go to fucking It's not Red a dollar Lobster. menu, it's a value menu. Ooh. And Red Lobster is the same system. See, that's how long it's food. been since I've been poor shopping at McDonald's. Shopping? I don't, I don't know the difference. <laughs> yeah, dude, because what, what do you do? It fucking, I can get fucking, each, it fucking, every cheeseburger is 89 cents. I only need te- two cheeseburgers today, but I order six of them, and then I stash the other ones away, and then I heat them up for breakfast. Right before I go work my slave shift at Winn-Dixie. Bro, you fed us oxtail that you got from somebody else. Yesterday. I got oxtail from anyway. Publix. Oh yeah, that's right, you did. It was oxtail <laughs> rice with a curry sauce and some really uh, spicy it was, green be- it was a beautiful plate. The plating was beautiful. Yeah, I would like okay. to see you go to any drive through in town and ask for fucking oxtail, alright? You, you can't even Why go to Pollo Tropical. <laughs> Dude, because it's a, it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a beefy protein, and also it's got flavor. It does have flavor. It was good. I'm not saying it wasn't. But you literally said, "Hey, I bought the whole shit for five bucks. I dumped it in a pot. Oxtail gravy? No, we we make that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's poor well, you can make talk. any gravy that with chicken drippings. Talk. Or you gotta have the you gotta have You're the talking about I put the drip, I put the giblets in the pot, and then I dripped I it over the, the shit. I put the giblets in the pot. I put the gi- <laughs> What is this? We trapping? God damn it. For that. I can't but you tried right. to pass it off as chicken and I don't appreciate it. Because I literally thought it was chicken until I ate it. Because you know what I saw? I saw I saw like a, a prepackaged chicken. I'm like, yo, let me get this. Wait, you thought? Wait, you oxtail. made us oxtail thinking it was chicken? When I bought it, I thought it was chicken. And when you made it, you thought it was chicken. I thought it was chopped it up chicken thighs. It wasn't until you bit into it. It wasn't until I ate it, it because I'm like, yo, this is too bony. This is oxtail. This is legit oxtail. No, it was bony as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like there were a lot of weird bones. And it's not like a normal chicken. No, it's like, oxtail. Oh, that must it's be like the a, ring. The bones. Oh, that must be the wing. Oh, no, that must be not, that. I'm like, like I don't recognize these bones. <laughs> I don't even know how to navigate and eat the meat around me shit. I definitely ate a bone 
with the first chunk of what I thought was chicken that I ate. Mm. But, uh... You hear that, guys? The ships are coming in. They're coming into the harbor. They're coming into port. The sirens are singing. Mermaids are manatees. I'm drunk and I need more rum. Mermaids are manatees. <laughs> Somebody get the coconuts. Have we covered everything? Everything's been covered. Did you cover everything you wanted to cover? You didn't have shit. It's Monday, Monday's night in Waterford. Hey, shout Happy out to Bingo. Chelsea for not having said anything ever. And thanks for shout watching out to our show. Uh, shout out to Corey's Casino. Don't shout out to Corey's Casino. What's wrong with you? Shout out to shout out to, Waterford shout out to Billy choking out Stephen Pruitt and vice versa. Shout out to Ryan P for having dope memes oh, all the time. <laughs> and we're done. And Sh bye. Shout out to uh, bye.